Wellington property manager Richard Horn of Manage My Property has been doing exactly that for over 10 years in the capital. Most of the 100 plus rentals on his books are comparatively trouble free, except for this one. The neighbours have said something going on in the flat downstairs because uh, the, light, the outside light's been on for the last three weeks. They've heard nobody downstairs and the place is beginning to smell. And you go, ooh. Does that mean the rubbish hasn't been put out or there's a dead body in there? <laughs> the smell is so bad up here that there was talk of contacting an undertaker as well as Richard. The curtains are closed. And the outside light's on. Place is looking a bit abandoned. Hello? Okay. Oh, far out. Kitchen looks like it's been hit with a dishes grenade. Yeah, look at this. Shit. Frying pan full of food. And presumably a billion fly poos. That's been there for ages. In the laundry, the plot thickens and so does the smell. Richard doesn't believe his tenant Sam would leave wet sheets in the washing machine for two weeks. And look at this. That is actually clean clothes pulled out and dropped on the floor. There's flies everywhere. Far out. Richard goes from room to room trying to find clues to the mystery. Extra mattress. I mean, this room's all right. This is Sam's room and that's quite tidy. Mysteriously, all the smoke alarms have been decommissioned. Why would this be? In the living room, Richard finds a possible reason. Hello, 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 hello. What do we have here? Hmm, an ancient artifact from the Mayan dynasty. It's a fucking bong. Little shit. It's all very odd. Richard's tenant seems to have simply walked out after a dinner party. Perhaps someone brought up the subject of cannabis law reform. Yeah, what I think's happened is Sam, who's my tenant, has gone off overseas. And he's got somebody in to share the flat with him. And um, his hygiene standards are questionable, to say the least. And I think he's a student too, and he's probably gone off home for the summer. So he's left the place like a disaster area. So there's no dead body, but there's a house lot of filth and decayed food for Richard to sort out, not to mention finding his tenant. What's next? That's what's next. In Wellington, property manager Richard Horn has had a distressing inspection in one of his rental properties. He's worried that something unspeakable has happened to his tenant. Rubbish has been left to rot, and there is a full-blown blowfly kitchen nightmare worse than Gordon Ramsay's. And presumably a billion fly poos. That's been there for ages. This pot and this pot smoking device stank to high heaven. Oh! <laughs> I don't wish I hadn't done that now. Um, there's a, a black oily residue in there. Yeah. After some investigation, Richard tracked down his tenant who was away overseas. The tenant's friend created the appalling mess. After Richard explained the penalties for subletting, the place has apparently been magically cleaned. Right. Let's go and see if the shit that hit the fan has been cleaned off the fan. Hello. Once again, the flat is deserted and first impressions do not bode well. Oh, duh. But joy of joys, Richard's in for a treat. The kitchen benches are now visible. Gasp. Mm, yeah, it's a wee bit whiffy. It looks like the tenant's friend has been as good as his word. The windows are still cobwebby, but that's not an issue. The living room has been vacuumed and tidied. The bedrooms, ditto. And now the only flies are outside, preparing for a takeoff this afternoon on the council rubbish truck. <coughs> oh, I think I 
just been we got sick in lawn mouth. <laughs> so we have got in touch with the tenant. He has come and tidied the place up, but he's still clearly not living there. So it's kind of a not as mysterious as it originally was, but it's still a wee bit of a mystery. Always get my man.